let's go back for a second. This is the co-founder of Mozilla Firefox, the bra internet browser, who says, "Capitals, <laughs> U.S. Capitol on January 6th, we need more than deplatforming. Donald Trump, white supremacy. Here's his solutions, I think. Additional precise and specific actions must also be taken. Reveal who's paying for advertisements, how much they are paying, and who is being targeted. Like, so you want, like, the inside information on, like, a marketing plan that's kind of insane. Commit to meaningful transparency of platform algorithms so we know in what content is being amplified to whom and the associated impact. So, I don't know. Is that necessarily bad? I think so, because we know who this guy's going to be amplifying if he thinks white supremacy, Donald Trump, January 6th are top of mind. We just heard, it was a couple months ago, that Facebook had to admit in court, I believe, that their fact checkers were actually opinions. Of and course. now... That's the same thing as what we're hearing with this authoritative sources that I mean, look, it's obvious, right? I'm preaching to the choir here that authoritative sources just mean somebody that is not going to be thinking for themselves. And we can both have regular. I, look, I don't think that anything that you have said, anything that I have said, anybody that's ever been on this show has never been really that extreme, but they have moved so far to this. I mean, authoritative leftist nonsense that it just. I mean, I think I think we can agree that maybe Bryson is probably the most, quote, extreme person we've ever had, which just means he reads the Bible. And like, <laughs> yeah, he, pretty much. like there's there's nothing that's ever been extreme on this show. But we are certainly not authoritative sources because what we don't. I mean, I went to college. Right. I, I have the little piece of paper that I paid a whole bunch of money for that I kind of regret. But that's a completely different story. Like. What, what does authoritative mean? It just means that somebody that is not going to think for themselves and they're going to tell you exactly what to think. And I saw a great post recently by um, Josh Lacash, I think, Josh Lacash or whatever. He, he does a show on Patreon uh, that I do not pay for, but that's not the point. And he said, you know, a, the main one of the main things that you look for when you are you know, deciphering fake news is those words that tell you what to think, like terrifying new study or dangerous new, uh, you know, post, you know what I mean? So that's what authoritative means is that they're going to throw those weird weasel words in there that are going to continue to brainwash people into how to think about these stories instead of just telling them the story, like, you know, frightening rise in cases. It's like, dude, I'm not frightened by any of this stuff. So that's what they mean as far as i'm concerned that's what they mean by authoritative is that they those are the sources that are going to tell you how you should be thinking about this stuff and unfortunately there's a lot of people who are still doing it but on the plus side i do remain confident that the media while and i've said this before and i'll do it again while the media is able to trick a lot of stupid people into believing absurd things they're also able to trick, you know, level-headed, common-sense people into, you know, gaslighting them into believing that they are, in fact, the minority. And shout out to uh, Brevner. There is more of us. So, But the media has manipulated it into tricking us, or, or gaslighting, I think is the term, that, that, that we are the minority and that we should just shut up and we should just, you know, uh, they, they're trotting Hillary back out like, oh, like, dude, you're gonna I trot Hillary so. back out from from six years ago and say, "Well, trust me." Think about this. They have gotten to the point where they are going to trot out a losing candidate from 2015, 2016, and say, "Yeah, we really screwed up bad with these two people, these two jackasses." But they're they're so bad now that we're gonna bring back the old lady that you didn't like from six years ago. That's how and, and trick you into believing that that is still a good option. 